I get questioned every day which fans are the right for me. My reply is, what do you have in mind? What are you going to use those fans for? Air cooling, water cooling. Well, I want to get a all-in-one water cooler. Which one do you recommend? So I give my recommendations. There's a whole bunch of good looking fans out there. And my reply is, do you want static pressure? And they ask me, what is static pressure? Then I say, well, static pressure is recommended for radiators. So they have a lot of static pressure so they can push the air across the fins of the radiator. So in today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about static pressure fins. So am I going to say, well, these fins are better than these fins? Well, these both, both of these are not the same. Neither those. So I got four different fins here. What a horrible comparison. This is your host, Sergio with Tech Overclocked. Let's get deep into it. Alright guys, so if you click on this video, it's because you want to learn about fans. You want me to tell you, well, these fans are better than these fans and they're going to cool your radiator much better than these fans. Probably that's what you came in here for, to get benchmarks. Because out there on the public market, out there on the companies, everything is about benchmarks and everything is based on benchmarks and after a benchmark you decide, well I want that fan or I want this fan. But before you go out there and look for benchmarks about fans and which fan is the best and which one do I recommend, I want you to have something clear in mind. And I'm gonna put it down on the table, just like I put this fan right here. I want you to learn one thing. A radiator can only dissipate so much heat. Unless you put 10 fans in here, 10 fans in here, another 10 fans in here, another 10 fans in here. A radiator can only dissipate so much heat away from the fins. Call me out if I'm wrong about this. And I am probably wrong, but talking to some of my friends, my tech friends, and sharing some thoughts and some of my experiences, mixing them up together, putting some things together. And I have talked to one of my friends, Jacob. We talk and we share numbers and temperatures. And yes, we came to the conclusion that yes, a radiator can only move so much heat and more if it's a all-in-one water cooling radiator. But let's go ahead and get off that subject. Make sure you have that in your mind that a radiator can only move so much heat and especially if it's an all-in-one water cooler radiator all right with that out of the way i hope that you get the understanding of what i'm trying to tell you and if you didn't then do a little bit of research so right here i got some of my favorite fans static pressure fans and some of them i don't have them on this table so i'm going to start off with the first player fire rose 120 millimeter fans great performance fans the static pressure is not that great, but they get the job done. And we also got the 120mm fan Corsair SP120s. These are the Silent Wings 3. Beautiful fans, I did a review of these fans, they're fantastic. And right here I got the Aerocool Dead Silence 120mm fans. I have reviewed these fans as well. All of the fans that I got right here guys, I have reviewed them, okay? So these fans are fantastic, they are amazing, they are awesome. I'm gonna leave the link to all these reviews in the description. And we got the most famous and most preferred for water cooling enthusiast, the Bardar F4 120mm radiator fans. Beautiful fans, there's no LEDs or nothing like that. The blade design is absolutely outstanding, high pressure, I think these are one of the best. Between these, these fans right here, and these, these fans right here, and these fans, man, all these fans are great. All these fans are great. I'm not going to compare what well, this is better than this one. I'm not going to do that. All these fans are fantastic. But this one, it's the most preferred fan for water cooling radiators. I'm going to put it down on the table, choose the way it is. And some of my other favorite fans is the Thermaltake Ring 12 and, well, the RGB version as well. The other ones is the noise blockers. I haven't got the fans to review them, but I've heard so many great stories, so stay tuned for that review. 
The next one is the Fractal Design Venturi. Man, those fans are fantastic. They are quiet. They kind of look like this. I do have a review of them on my channel. I did a computer build using those fans. Fantastic, quiet, and they're absolutely amazing. I, I had them at 1600 RPM on an all-in-one water cooler. It was fantastic. They were so great. I don't have them here on the table right now, but I do recommend those fans. The next fans that I want to check are the new NCXT RGB. Now stay tuned because I have those videos coming up. Currently they're in the mail here, but I truly wanted to make this video because lately for the past couple of weeks I have been getting slammed with questions. Creeper, what fans are they right for me? And well, it all comes down to this. Most of the time, I recommend these fans. And the reason why? Well, people want white LED. They want black and white for their theme. This is black and white. They want something that is quiet and static pressure. This is it right here. The other one that I recommend a lot is the Thermaltake Ring 12. High static pressure, beautiful design. It has the ring around it. They're absolutely amazing. But if you don't want a lot of aesthetics, if you don't want a lot of LEDs or colors or stuff like that, well, these ones here are fantastic. So I'm gonna put it down on the table. I'm not gonna sit here and make a video. Well, you have to buy this because of this, because of that, because the high static pressure is yada yada number and that, that, that. I don't wanna confuse your mind. See, a lot of people out there make these videos, putting a whole bunch of numbers in your head, and if you're starting building a computer, you're gonna get more confused. CFM and SP and all these crazy numbers. No, I'm gonna put it down on the table, simple and easy for you. See, when I was building a computer, I go online and I check for fans, and all these people talking about these numbers, dude, I was like, what? I wanted to hear, these are the fans for you. So I'm gonna put it down on the table. These are the fans for you. You choose. Pretty much, you choose. All of these fans are great. Thermaltake Ring 12. The Fractal Design Inventory. I'm not gonna sit here and say, well, this fan is better than this fan. See, I try to make my videos as simple as understanding as possible. I don't come over here and I don't put a whole bunch of numbers on your screen because probably you are getting into PC building and you don't want to get confused. So if you want simple explained videos, don't forget to subscribe down below. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I either reply to you or an awesome member of this channel will reply to you and we'll start a good conversation, friendly conversations. That's what my channel is all about. Friendly friendly replies, if I see a negative comment, it goes out of the window, and if that person comments another negative thing again, they are blocked and they are banned from this channel. I do not keep negative stuff on my comment section. I will not make this channel a toxic channel. So guys, if you have any questions about this fence right here, or if you have any topic that you want me to talk about, please leave it down below in the descriptions. I get to it when I get to it. <laughs> Alright guys, well this was Sergio with Tech Overclock, it was a pleasure to be here, I love you guys, stay awesome, you are simply amazing, always know that. <laughs>